In Whitewater, the topic of immigration has sparked rumors of hundreds of immigrants arriving in the city, but the reality of the immigration population in the city is more complex than the headlines. Our Maddie Heimsch went to Jefferson County to set the record straight. Last week on December 28th, Whitewater's police chief and city manager co-signed this letter to the White House asking for support in serving their increasingly immigrant population. Now the letter has gained attention of many who city officials say may not understand the full context. The letter estimates that 800 to 1,000 immigrants have arrived in Whitewater in the past two years. Some people took to X and other various sites to express their concern with the situation. Quickly stock photos of immigrants exiting a bus references to the Biden administration and words like dump and flood were being used to describe the situation. Whitewater immigration expert Margaret Wheeler told me it's always more complex than a headline. It's never a black and white situation. Um, we have amazing immigrants here that we've had here for years that are doing wonderful things in our community. I spoke to city manager John Wydell, who emphasized the fact that the issue has been ongoing for years. He also said the letter was an attempt to support the immigrant population, not villainize them. What I believe we're dealing with is nothing other than what everybody else wants, which is to find a place for their family to be safe and have services to become employed. Um, to find a place to live and to ultimately uh, have their family and their children be educated, go through the schooling system, and be citizens like everybody else. Wydell says the city has been addressing the change in population for years in the form of English classes, job fairs, and implementing technological advancements to the police force. He and Police Chief Daniel Meyer said they wrote the letter in hopes to receive additional funding for city and police staffing and translation services for government communication. Wydell says the issue lies in resources, not politics. You can read the letter in full on channel3000.com. Reporting in Whitewater, I'm Maddie Heim. News 3 Now.